Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create an external VDB cache directly from your volume builder. Here we have a rather standard setup with a volume builder. I have the volume builder object, I have my text set to the last object in the list, and then I have a linear field in multiply mode and a random field, both of them affecting the object below, and uh, the linear field just passing through that text object creates this nice little fading in of the volume. Fantastic. This can be clouds or anything else you want it to be. Now what I want to do is take this whole setup, this whole animation, uh, 120 frames of it, and cache it to an external file. Now that's a very simple thing to do. All you have to do is go to the volume builder and you know the old cache layer, this one over here, just select it and make sure that it's uh, on the top. If it's not, just move it up. And now if you select it, you will see that we have two options. We have the internal, which uh, used to be the default, and now we have the external. So go to the external, make sure if you want animation to activate the animation. Here I have 120 frames, let me put 120 frames. And all you have to do now is cache and it will bring up uh, the dialog to select where you want to save the sequence. Select the folder and set a name, a name, and uh, press save. The volume builder now has been cached and you can just scrub through or you can go to your hard drive and drag the VDB in your project and press OK and it will read it and there you have it, a cached VDB directly from the volume builder. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.